this video is going to be the, <laughs> at least trying to be, the custom speed paint video for the doll I made, Mikey. Um, I've had so many problems the last couple of weeks <laughs> with footage becoming corrupted and computer problems. Well, this video took the brunt of that. I think over half of my footage got corrupted, um, and I'm pretty upset about it. And then on top of that, the actual doll review, I don't have the doll anymore by the way, the actual doll review got corrupted as well, so that made me mad even more. Um, I will put pictures at the end of all of the, I, I did take pictures before I sent it, so all of that will be at the end. Um, I will also try and link not only to his channel, but also to the, I think he said he's going to do a box opening, so you guys can check that out. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of been, I don't know, I don't know why the computer hates my videos so much, but hey, it's the way it is. So that's why it kind of gets choppy at some parts, or that's why it's, you see some stuff finished in one clip and, you know, it, yeah, it's just aggravating. Um, uh, lastly, I just want to say a few things about the custom is I, um had a lot of fun making it. I love Egyptian stuff. It's one of my favorite things. Um, and one of my inspiration as I was making her was, like, the thought that came to my mind as I was making her was Egyptian, um, uh, Catwoman, in a sense. Um, she kind of gave that vibe off of, vibe from, to me, from me, English, not really. Um, and the skirt was really fun to make. Um, it took me a few tries and a few things to like try and figure out what to do. Um, but I really like how it ended up. Again, like I said, there's going to be pictures at the end. And um, I hope you guys enjoy what footage I do have. And uh, yeah, I'll, again, I'll leave a link to Mikey's channel at the very end of this video. So yeah, that's going to be it. Bye, guys. <laughs> Hey you guys, first off, uh, I apologize for not filming any type of cleanup kind of stuff. I have that planned for this because I like to incorporate that every once in a while when I do a custom and um, I had filmed it. I did everything that I needed to do. I cleaned it, I cut the hair, and I was actually even talking while I was doing it and kind of slowing down and talk talking about it. Well, me being a derp, I accidentally deleted every bit of footage I had recorded previously to this step. Um, apparently I didn't have it saved on my computer and I needed the camera and I deleted everything that was on it. So, um... Just kind of wanted to say that, <laughs> but basically, yeah, I just cleaned it and then I painted it this, um, it's coming up darker on camera, but it's a navy blue color. And for the hair, I'm going with, I got this new type of yarn. I already tested it and it seems like it's going to go pretty well. It has tinsel in it. It should look really good. Um, this is going to be an Egyptian inspired piece. Um, and then this, um, has, I can't tell with the camera, you can tell it has, a uh, navy blue and black in it. So, um, that's what the main color of the hair is going to be. And this isn't all that will be, like, the hair. Um, this is just for at least the hairline and maybe to get started on the rest of the head. So, just to let you guys know. But before I do that... Um, I noticed in one of my previous customs that when working with it, for some reason it made the head very yellow. Um, and then when I went to clean it up, it wouldn't, the yellow wouldn't go away. So, what I'm going to do is take my matte Mod Podge, or not matte Mod Podge, my Liquitex matte. Um, and I put a finish over it, like I, like, as if you're sealing it and stuff. Um, 
I, this is only one layer. I'm going to put two layers. And then I'm going to reroot. And then when I go to do the face up, I'm going to wipe it to clean it. So that way all the dirt is on the matte um, finish and not on the actual plastic to where it would stain. Um, although her skin color, I don't think it, I would have a problem because those last two problems I had were on a white skinned and a fairly, um, like a, it was a Jackson doll. So, you know, those problems probably were due to the very light skin. But I'm not going to take a chance. I'm going to uh, seal this. So let me reroute her real quick. Um, actually, that would probably take a few days, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here she is, completely rerouted. Um, I'm really happy with how the tinsel came out, so now I can start doing the face-up. Um, and I also wanted to tell you guys, I'm not only going to be doing a face-up, I will be doing... I forgot to grab the body out, I'm sorry. Um, I'm also going to be painting the body... Um, I'm, I don't know if I said that already, but yeah, I'm going to be completely painting it. Um, I will say, uh, I will be avoiding, like, jointed areas, because it's going to scrape off anyway, and it's just easier to try and avoid those spots as much as possible. Um, I've kind of just learned that from painting bodies over the last year or so, so, yeah. So, I guess I will go ahead and get started.
and she's done. I hope you guys enjoyed the little face of video. Um, sorry I didn't film the antiquing of her wraps. Uh, really, like all I did was paint it that color and antique it. I did not do anything else. Because um, I did the antiquing, I think, a while after I had painted it. And I was doing other things. and uh, Like, I was doing this doll while I was doing a bunch of other things. Um, kind of. So, some things might not be filmed. Um, but I am in love with her face. I really like how it came out. It's simple, yet um, still my style. As you can see, I, I, I literally finished the doll already. So you guys can probably check out the... Uh, review video for a closer detail about everything else and here's the uh, the wraps a little closer up so it's pretty interesting and you can see right here the joints are pretty good actually I can do this and then put it back down and it's not gonna be messed up too bad um, it's just something that I couldn't avoid um, and, and it's the same thing with the the, the elbow and um, her hands her hand is painted as well, so, yeah. Um, I decided to kind of make her like a cat person, so I gave her these headbands. But this headband, which was, um, was like green or something, and I just painted it. Um, and then the other thing I did, which I don't see it over here, so, um, you'll probably see it in the review video, uh, was I painted her a cat, so... She has a cat to go with her. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys later. Bye!